Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and today I'll be talking about an SMG in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But before we get into that, hopefully, you guys have been subscribing and liking my videos. I'll be posting up more Call of Duty content in the future, talking about the future patches and more details of the season pass, uh, season one. You know, pretty much a lot of cosmetics are coming up, so there's gonna be a lot more Call of Duty content coming up. So, anyways, uh, today I'll be talking about this SMG, the MP5. It's a total freaking beast. If you guys want to rush, if you guys want to get in front of people's faces, this gun is the one to have. I mean, it does have this little like punch in the gut. Like every time you hit fire, it just follows the enemy for a few seconds, which is, I don't know. It just happens out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it's because of a certain attachment that I have. But like, as far as I know, it is a very stable SMG. It's a lot better than the P90. Wait, miles ahead because uh, it does have that close range combat speed. Like the reaction of this gun is so quick. It's so quick, it's a little bit accurate from medium range combat and strong range combat. Out of nowhere, it just reacts the speed that I wanted it to react, and it's just so good. So, it reminds me a lot about the CUDA, it reminds me a lot about the PDW of Black Ops 2, of course, the Scorpion Evo a little bit, but not with the speed of the Scorpion Evo. Like, it has its accuracy. That's what I'm trying to say. So, the MP5 right now, guys, use it, abuse it before they patch this goddamn gun. Right now, I think it's the most used gun in the shootout 24-7, so you should be able to see it there most of the time. But when it comes down to ground war, it is one of the less used SMGs because, you know, everybody wants to take out a huge, huge crowd of people. So they'll use AKs and the M4s and the LMGs. So that's why it's not commonly used in the ground war. But for shootout 24-7 and other 6 v 6 maps, yeah, you'll see them there because it is quite the only gun who can keep up with a 725 shotgun. Even after the nerf, the, this gun is still like um, can kind of compete with that shotgun. The rest of the SMGs, like the Uzi or the P90, it really can't because they don't have that quickness. It doesn't have that you know quick reaction compared to the MP5. And uh, luckily, I can show you guys how fast it can react. So in this gameplay right here that I have in the background, I managed to go 19 kills in a row. And of course, like around three of the kills have been with claymores, and the rest of my kills have been with the kill streaks. But you'll see a few confrontations here and there where I'm almost dying. And I still managed to like punch him in the face, you know, I still managed to like kill him right away before they even kill me. A lot of the moments too are that quick too. So like uh, there's a big, like a, a big negative for this weapon. It does take like around maybe like 15 bullets, 10 bullets to kill an enemy. It does take a while, but it does prepare you for the next enemy because you're that fast, you're that quick. If you take out one of them and another one's right behind him, this gun is going to react super fast. So. Um, it does have its moments with long range combat too, which is pretty weird. It's an SMG and it's supposed to be rattling by a lot, but it does, the way I have it set up is just, it's, it's pretty stable. So, um, so yeah guys, if you guys enjoy this gameplay, that one that's going on in the background is quite insane. It's quite of a beast moment for me. So, um, I could have gone for the nuke. I could have gone, but the last kill, the last person who killed me, which was in my, uh, 19th kill, um, that guy got away scot-free, bro. <laughs> I kind of, like, my freaking accuracy just shitted itself and it just went terrible. You know, it just went horrible at the end. So, you'll see it right now and you'll laugh at me. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes I'll become beast mode and then the next second I'll become Eli Manning when he's, like, uh, throwing a bunch of interceptions in those seasons. So, uh, it, it just happens. I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not as consistent as I used to be back, back in Black Ops 1, but still, I have my beast moments coming in and out in the game. So, uh, I did, in my last live stream, I did show a little bit of the MP5 also live, and I was beasting it up until it freaking, uh, until the app crashed. It couldn't keep up with my speed, apparently. So, uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, leave a like. Uh, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty content, subscribe. There's going to be more stuff like this coming up. So, I'll see you guys later and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And you'll see my terrible aim right now. In three, two, one, right here. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Yeah. Just shit itself right there. So, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later.